I was an ugly duckling in high school. I wasn't comfortable with myself physically. My parents were going through this bitter divorce. It was horrible. It was a battle. It was about three or four years that it was pure hell. So both my younger sister and my older sister battled breast cancer, and my older sister succumbed to it. But she was 34 when she passed away. Well, I heard about Makeover Guy through YouTube videos, and I just became obsessed with watching the transformations. It was so cool and gave me hope. Women around the world understand that aging can be difficult, and often how they've aged does not reflect who they really are. My name is Pam Morgan, and I came in from Johnson City, Tennessee. I am 59 years old. I can't believe that. <laughs> and I feel young on the inside. Beauty is far more than skin deep, and often the desire for a makeover comes from the soul of the child within. I was born in New York and and then the family moved farther south. My parents are from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My father was a professional football player. He played for the, it was Los Angeles Chargers at the time. My mom was a dancer. She actually danced in nightclubs. The relationship with my parents, it was my father traveled a lot, so he was gone a lot. He was pretty much an absentee father, and then when he was home, there wasn't too much interactions. My mom was everything. I mean, she just took total care of us. They had three girls. I think he wanted a boy, especially, you know, like a professional football player not having a son. I'm sure that had something to do with it. I have two sisters. Um, one of them passed away when she was young, and then I have a younger sister that were very close. High school was challenging, so I, I wasn't comfortable with myself physically. You know, I was going through that ugly duckling stage. You know, you always wanted to look like somebody else, and I never felt like I looked like me. My older sister was very academic, very bright, and I tried to meet her standards, which I never did. I wanted to be like her, you know. I admired her, so I wanted to be smart like her. I wanted to be a veterinarian. I'm glad I didn't, though, honestly. Seeing animals sick is just too heart-wrenching. Parents were going through this bitter divorce. It was horrible. What happened was he had a girlfriend, and he wanted to divorce my mom. And the divorce papers like, everything stays in his name. He's going to do this and da-da-da. So my mom was like, you know, she had three kids, and two still at home. And so she took him to an attorney, and the attorney was like, you got to be kidding me. If he thinks this is this is the way it's going to be. It was a battle. He actually quit his job so that he wouldn't have to pay anything. I just had, I got a full-time job. I, th I was a cashier and then I was doing other stuff on the side just to help my mom and support. And everything worked out, but it was just that time frame. It was about three or four years that it was pure hell. We had this, we had savings that we'd been saving, you know, since we were little kids. And we, we gave that to my mom and she was able to buy the house. And I was working in a grocery store and I met this guy and we ended up getting married. And it, it was a mismatch from the beginning. And this marriage lasted seven years and then we got a divorce. After my high school years, I always had this desire for, you know, advancing my education. So I wanted a college degree. I never thought it was an option. And I remember the, just having this extreme disconnect, you know, like something wasn't right. And I remember talking to my mom about it, and, and she just said, what's wrong? And I said, I want to go to college. And she was like, well, go. I found myself in Northeast Tennessee, and there was a local college there. And I just enrolled, and it just worked out perfectly. The females in our family have the uh, BRCA2 malformation, the genetic malformation that increases your risk of cancer, breast cancer. Most of the females in my family were battling breast cancer, and um, so both my younger sister and my older sister battled breast cancer, and my older sister succumbed to it. She was 34 when she passed away. Fast forward about 10 years, you know, my younger sister had been diagnosed, and my older sister had passed away, and I decided just to take action because I was sick of living with this black cloud over my head and just thinking it's not a matter of if, but when I have cancer. So I elected to have the mastectomies. 
I heard about Makeover Guy through YouTube videos and I just became obsessed with watching the transformations. It was so cool and gave me hope. I always had it in the back of my mind that I would want to do that for my 60th birthday. So lo and behold, here I am at 59 with this dream coming true. I want the Makeover Guy to just bring out my natural beauty and, and um, make me be the best that I possibly can be. If you really want to know how to always look your best, there are six essential elements that you must understand to do your hair and makeup and be well dressed. They are body, head, hair, face, color, and style. Body, head, hair, face, color, and style. Body, head, hair, face, colors, and style. That's right, it's body, head, hair, face, colors, and style. Pamela's vertical measurements are 34, 27, 38. She has a proportionately longer neck with broad tapered shoulders and saddlebags. Since her hips appear larger than her bust, it creates an A vertical body type. In profile, her body is balanced with excellent posture as her ear is in line with her shoulders and her ankles. Horizontally, Pam is balanced from her head to hip and hip to heel. Ideally though, the waist is equidistant between the bust and hip, so Pam's appears proportionately high or what we call a short waist. Pamela's head is proportionately large to her shoulders and from profile, her neck appears thinner in proportion to a fuller parietal bone. Pam has medium thick hair and can be styled with many options. However, ideally for her face, neck and head, hair that falls at or around clavicle length with some fullness at the sides will be most flattering. This is further illustrated in profile and you can see that a line at the shoulder and clavicle up to the base of the neck will probably be the most flattering. Pam has an oblong face and the neck appears from the front to be vertically wider than the jaw. Her brows are asymmetrical with her right eyebrow appearing higher. Her right eye shows more eyelid than her left and her mouth turns down just slightly on the right. Her lips are nicely balanced. Her face in profile is very nicely balanced with only a slightly receding frontal lobe. Cool silver is more flattering than warm gold. A little bit softer muted tone is more flattering than a stark dark tone. A white white is more flattering than a cream. Light summer colors will be the most flattering. Pam prefers a more dramatic and romantic style with buzzwords such as stunning, gorgeous, chic, pretty, enchanting, and fresh. Creating and sharing this experience is so fulfilling but also very challenging. You help us by watching our videos, and if you don't have my book, Staging Your Comeback, reading that will help you better understand what we do. Please help us continue offering this free content by commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Now, let's see the big review. I am thrilled with my look. I absolutely love it. It's so much different than I thought. I'm romantic and chic, and I'm still sophisticated and sleek, but now I've got right. Wow. It was a wonderful, surprising, unbelievable adventure. I didn't expect the attention to detail and how it takes a lot of work to look like this. <laughs> but I'm going to put in the effort because it's worth it. It's just set me up for the best decade in my life. And I'm so looking forward to my 60s. My mom had to teach me all this stuff when I was young and I just resisted it. And I should have listened. Why didn't I listen? Now here I am at 60 and I want to learn it. Christopher showing me how to sit and stay poised and confident and look my best. And it made me feel like she was here with us. I know she's proud and happy and probably thanking Christopher. So if he hears a voice, tell him it's my mom, Penny. I'm going to look my best. I'm going to feel my best. I'm going to dress my best. I'm going to look, just live my best life starting today. It's just amazing what hair, makeup, you know, clothes, and it's not, it's kind of simple in, in a concept, but putting it all together, it definitely takes somebody that knows what they're doing, and you guys definitely know what you're doing. Like spilling my guts out, I mean, that really, I, I was ready to quit. I was already like, what am I doing? We're, why did I do this? And then the next morning I got up and I thought, you know what? Okay, 
so be it. It's out there, just enjoy it. Just opened up these things I didn't want to think about, but like you said, it's who I am. And actually when you when you open up like that, it starts healing and you, I, I mean, it was like a big vulnerability. And to think that everybody's gonna see this and it's like, you don't want, you want to, you want this perception of yourself out in the world. And now I don't care. You can be beautiful and put together and chic and sophisticated and still have baggage, but who cares? You're gonna love life and live it to the fullest. Oh, again. Thank you guys. Oh, I won't ever forget this, I swear. It's really gonna make that impression on me.